Welcome agents to this essential countdown guide. With more than 50 targeted loot drops and optimization materials, countdown is the perfect content for creating builds. And to make sure you get as much loot as possible, there are some things you need to know about and some things that you absolutely must not do. Get these wrong and you can cause a team wipe in seconds, making you less popular than a cold cup of tea. But wait, do you have enough empty inventory slots? With the clock ticking in game, there is no time to manage your inventory. So make some space before matchmaking. All ready now? Spiffing. Let's jump in and have a look at the four phases of Countdown. You spawn into the map in groups of four in two or three potential spawn sites. The unused site being where you will extract from later in the activity. Before you follow your GPS into one of the buildings, we need to do something first. At the start of the game, three random countermeasures will be in effect. These countermeasures will put a wet tea towel on your team if left in place. And more than that, deactivating them at the highlighted locations provides the team with some top-notch buffs. But when Wait, those cheeky chappies are massive, have not left the countermeasures unguarded. Four hunters are waiting for you, which fortunately your group can pick off one at a time. Which is a good thing because they hit like a truck, have a ton of armour, heal themselves and disrupt your skills. And there is one essential thing you need to know about skills, which I will cover later. In phase two, you need to complete two or three random activities. There are three things to consider when choosing which two to do. Firstly, some of the activities are quicker than others. Which activities are closest to the main objective, which you can see on the map here. Cutting down the time you have to run between locations can be important in completing your mission on time. And thirdly, your teammates are morons and will run to the furthest location or the slowest to complete anyway. Oh, how we laugh at that one. There are five possible activities. In Protect the VIP, you need to kill the hostiles while making sure that the engineer doesn't die. Don't forget to revive him if he is careless enough to die. The silly chap. SHD crates are secured by the complex mechanic of standing in a shaded circle and not dying. While eliminating the hostiles tasks you with killing the hostiles. We really are pushing the limits on game design here. But all are not as simple as that. To neutralize the warhounds you need to destroy two servers before killing the hostiles. Ooh. Preventing the hostile upload though is the pinnacle of this phase, asking you to stand in a shaded circle, shoot an inanimate object and then kill the hostiles. Think that you can handle all of that? I knew you could. And if in your travels you happen to see an unopened loot crate, feel free to ignore the hostiles and objectives to grab its contents. Everyone else will. These typically include SHD calibration, which are needed to optimize your gear. To encourage you to have fun, Massive have made these items more expensive than the crown jewels to craft in the game. So grab as many of these freebies as you can here. Once you have completed two activities, the main objective will start. Now wait a second. Before you run in there, you need to know how to complete each of them. Those pesky hostiles have broken our cooling system, which will lead to a meltdown. So it's up to you to fix it. This is a three-step process. Turn a valve, destroy sets of pipe lids, and pull a lever to vent the steam. Do this three times and the reactor will be as cool as a British cucumber. But hang on, standing in the steam for too long is going to lead to parboiled agents. So use the higher levels of the map and watch your health to keep your cool. The key to the containment main objective is to look up. Yes, I know those hostiles are very distracting, but shooting the targets above you is the only way to finish this one. Once the containment pod is released, it's time for a cup of tea while our fancy hacking tools do their job. Then once again, your ability to shoot a stationary inanimate object is put to the test. Oh no, we have no power. Something Boris Johnson knows all about. Of course, the way to fix this is to click a lot of things. Lots and lots of things. Disconnect the old grid, remove the broken fuse and then activate the transformer. Four times. But wait, those pesky developers have laid a little trap for us. Every 20 seconds a power surge hits so that any agent who delays moving to higher ground will be electrocuted. Once all of the transformers have been activated, it is time to switch on the power with the imaginative stand in a shaded square. Yes. 
massive spiffing artists have mastered multiple different shaded shapes. This mission needs team coordination to avoid a nasty outcome. With seven random teammates, what could go wrong? Servers are located in three locations in the admin building. The control room, the lounge and the lobby and they need to be hacked which seems an odd way to fix a virus. Those Norton antivirus subscriptions were clearly too much. First is the control room, then the lounge and lobby and finally all three at once. To hack a server you need to activate the terminal and then stand in the shaded square. Two things which your teammates seem to struggle with. The reactor needs to be restarted which can mean only one thing. Yes, a devilish sequence of pushing buttons, standing in shaded squares and shooting helpless inanimate objects. After that South African bounder, Elon Musk solved the issue of free speech by putting it behind a paywall. He created an experimental reactor in the lab at Penko, so it should be no surprise it has gone wrong and we need to destroy it by destroying valves, hacking consoles by standing in a shade square of course and destroying the reactor cores four times, all by paying eight dollars up front. Now before you dash off to the final phase, make sure you open the loot crate in each area and pick up that tasty gear. Well done, you've completed all of the objectives and it's time to get to the extraction point. But this is where things get tough, it's time to take on multiple hunters at once. And this is where most teams will wipe if they are going to. Your team needs good DPS, good survivability and for you not to be a complete lemon by using skills that the hunters can hack. And they will hack any skill that isn't an instant cast. Turrets, drones, hives, all of them will be turned onto your helpless teammates. With all the enemies killed you can call in a helicopter for extraction. But slow down there my hasty friend, if you have plenty of time left use it to kill the waves of easy enemies that the slaughter copter drops off for even more loot. The final thing to do is to board that helicopter, but wait, what about that loot that dropped just over there? Just one more shiny piece of loot can't hurt can it? Oh yes it can, because successfully extracting rewards you with an extraction bonus which roughly doubles the countdown tokens you would get for a completion. And with these tokens you can buy even more tasty gear from the countdown vendor including exotics. For me though I use them to buy optimization crates so that I can keep creating great builds for you all to play, like this one which is an incredible support build for countdown and will make sure that you extract every time and enjoy a celebratory slice of cake with your teammates.